you find a career that you love and you're passionate about, you'll never have to work a day in your life. Right, the control system is really the brains of the operation. Just like you have a brain, right? The robot has a brain also. What it's gonna do is make sure that your ship is safe. So it's gonna push a wave against it, and if it doesn't rock too much, it'll let you out. But the most important thing for the Navy, right, is to keep the sailors safe. We do wow, need females. So I encourage females to look into aviation as a crew chief, a mechanic, as a pilot. It is a great, rewarding career. Today is the fifth annual Aerospace and Aviation Competition Summit. So I believe we're going to have around 450 students from around the local community here. So we definitely want to make sure that um, that we are transparent and they understand the opportunities that exist in our career fields. It wasn't too long ago, well maybe it was a little long ago, uh, that I too was in your student status. And when I grew up in Baltimore, Maryland, not too far from here, and for me, getting an opportunity to visit an installation such as Joint Base Andrews was, was pretty profound. And I knew that as a 10th grader, that joining the Air Force was going to be my ticket out of Baltimore. I think these opportunities are significant when it comes to not just the Air Force, but um, our youth and just giving them options, things that they did not know that they could do. Um, I'll be honest, when I was coming through high school, I didn't know that there were options for me. And I think having events like this definitely gives the students something that they can look forward to and something that they can prep and plan for. I think the medical simulator over there, that was the most impressive thing. Why? Oh, it was just cool to see how, you know, people in that field can practice what they're doing with such realistic equipment. I thought today was very informative on things like the Air Force, the military, what goes on, the procedures, and the various facets in the Air Force. So if, if this is a career field that you're interested in coming into, a couple things. You gotta be willing to fly, and you have to be comfortable speaking in front of people. In addition, we have a modeling and simulation software called Fleet, where you can design your own ships in a video game, take them out and use them for different missions. We are talking about systems engineering, which has a lot of overlap with program management, where we are working with the electrical engineers, which we showed through our circuitry, mechanical engineers, which we showed through the boats, uh, and really tying those things together at a systems level. And for us with the Navy, those systems have to be waterproof, they have to be airtight, they have to be cyber secure. So all those kind of career paths end up having a big role, both in the Navy as a governmental body, but also all the companies that support the Navy. Our great nation depends on aviation for a huge number of reasons. Our pilots and our air crew move people, material, goods, mail, and other items all over the world. This creates jobs for millions of people here in the United States and hundreds of millions of people across the globe. Um, I feel like it was very informative and I feel like I learned a lot, especially at the, um, once we had that station over there, like, I feel like I learned a lot about the different types of planes and what they do and like the different types of jobs you can get. It gave me like another option, like another avenue that I might be able to pivot to. Uh, well, I thought the event was really nice. It had different aspects and different um, things going on, so it kept me, you know, entertained. And I like to see all the displays with the missiles and the helicopters and everything. It was really interesting, and I liked it a lot. No matter what your talent base is, there is a skill set that one of these assets needs or the units that these assets belong to needs. Within the Coast Guard, if you uh, like to be on the water and you love cutters and boats, you can uh, be stationed on any number of our larger cutters, which go up to 418 feet in length. And those tours of duty last anywhere from two to three years, and you will sail all over the world every time you're at sea for two to three months at a time. We need aerospace physiologists to help maintain pilots and air crew who fly the planes and helicopters we need. We also need air traffic controllers who control and coordinate where the airplanes and helicopters fly safely. We need innovative thinkers who build and fly new systems like unmanned drones. I'm just going around talking to the different, you know, uh, recruiters, learning more about the National Guard, and I'm actually interested now in joining it. So um, when I go to college, uh, I'll join. 
I also like how there were like different stations and there were different things to learn. And I also liked how we got to sit in the helicopter. What I was doing here today was showing how we use medical simulation to benefit the different professions, both the doctors, the nurses, the surgeons, uh, also our medical techs, and even outside that, where I've worked with the fire department, the police department, and uh, our helicopter squadron, and how we could use our medical simulation to benefit them and show them the different career fields that are possible, both in simulation and in the medical field. Today, we're excited to be here. We have three IBMers uh, doing workshops across three different technical careers and technology spaces. So we have someone doing an AI workshop, someone doing a robotics workshop, and then someone talking about the business of tech. Um, at the end of the day, the topics that we're talking about, AI, machine learning, robotics, it's, this is the future um, to the extent that they want to position themselves and be ready for the future. Uh, that's, that's what we're here today to, to deliver as a message. I think it was a good event. I think what impressed me the most is that they have some models here, like the missiles and the engine here from the F-16. Yeah, that's one of my biggest takeaways because I want to be an aviator. I got a, t a chance to talk to different people, like different people on active duty, and I learned some stuff, got some good advice that I can use in the future. I like that we even got the opportunity to see all of this stuff because not a lot of places get to take field trips like this. And I want to say my favorite part was the part we learn about CPR and stuff because I like the medical field and I'm debating on if I want to join that field. So here at Joint Base Andrews, we are constantly practicing, constantly preparing so that we can perform at our absolute best to defend our nation. Use these as opportunities to develop that passion and that love for that career that you want to pursue. Today was very, very enlightening, honestly, and exciting. I personally want to like join the Air Force, like just to be a part of this and to see that there's so many different aspects of the Air Force. Like it's not just about flying planes or like building planes and you can do so many different things and you have to, like it's a lot of things that contribute to it. And honestly, it's been enlightening, inspiring and fulfilling. I'm excited.